fight the fear when I feel like dying. I'm trying to fly high, but I'm not a pilot, can't deny it. There's some days I feel idiotic. Hi friends and lecturers, our book will present recent approaches, seven traditions in the field of communication theory by Robert Craig. Our members are Anita Putri Purnama, Edi Isabel, and Chitra Kalina. According to University of Colorado Emeritus Communication Professor Robert Craig, practical application is an essential tool to develop communication theories. It is the chronological and considered response of scholars to questions applied as human interaction. Craig developed this idea in the seven traditions in the communication theory. The seven traditions are rhetoric, socio-psychological, critical, socio-culture, cybernetic, phenomenological, and semiotic tradition. Seven traditions, that's a lot. Maybe you'll be confused, but you don't have to worry because our group will provide a good example and explanation to help you in understanding its tradition. So please watch and listen. The Rhetorical Tradition The study of rhetoric has a history in the West, the 5th century BC Greece. Original concern with persuasion, rhetoric was the art of constructing arguments and speech making. It has evolved to encompass all of the ways humans use symbols to affect those around them and to construct the worlds in which they live. Central to the rhetorical tradition are the five canons of rhetoric, invention, arrangement, style, delivery, and memory. One of the examples in rhetorical tradition as is shown in figure 1, Jokowi shared his speech as an example of Rhetoric Tradition As the President of Indonesia, Jokowi tried to persuade Indonesian citizens to understand his goals in leading Indonesia. The Socio-Psychological Tradition The theories of this tradition focus on psychological variables, individual effects, personalities and traits perception and cognition. The individual human mind is the focus of research in this tradition. It is on persuasion and attitude change, how humans develop, process, and strategize messages and the effects of messages on individuals. It can also be discovered by careful systematic observation. They look for cause and effect relationships that will predict the results when people communicate. As it's shown in Figure 2, consumer behavior and purchasing intention as an example of the application of socio-psychological tradition. Branding will stimulate our brain through personalities and traits and when it produces a behavior a certain behavior to buy the product. In reality, many people have been influenced or persuaded by a discount or a cheaper price to purchase a certain product. That's the behavior of consumptive behavior that has been applied in socio-psychological tradition. About the critical tradition, Scientists examine that power, oppression, and privilege are the products of communication throughout society. They are particularly interested in uncovering oppressive social conditions and power arrangement in order to promote emancipation or, as Della Pollock and J. Robert Cox put it, to rid the world with an eye towards shaping it. As seen in figure number three, advertisement of white skin perspective has oppressed the standard beauty in India and it led to mental illness. And this is one of good example 
for the critical tradition. And the next one uh, is the sociocultural tradition. It addresses the ways our understandings, meanings, norms, roles, and rules are worked out interactively in communication. It also explores the interactional worlds in which people live, positioning that reality is constructed through a process of interaction in groups, communities, and cultures. Many sociocultural theories also focus on how identities are established through interaction in social groups and cultures and how identity is negotiated from one situation to another. Identity becomes a fusion of the individual self with social, community, and cultural roles. One of the examples of sociocultural tradition is as seen in figure number four. The standard of perfect body is constructed through Victoria's secret campaign where the standard of size body is negotiated instead of a thin body. And the next one is cybernetic tradition. It is theorized as information processing and explains the complexity of the system and why they often malfunction. Theorists in the cybernetic tradition seek to answer such question as how does the system work what could change it and how can we get the bugs out? And the next one is phenomenological tradition that explains the interchange of identity and difference in authentic human relationship and cultivate communication practice that enable and sustain authentic relationship. So according to a survey map of tradition in the field of communication theory, by Griffin in 2019. He categorized the seven communication tradition into two territories. The first one is the objective territory and the second one is the interpretive territory. As seen on the figure, the cybernetic, socio-psychological and rhetorical or the tradition that is on the left side is more to objective territory and the one on the left is more on the interpretive territory uh, next as our group chose to explain in detail in detail about semiotic tradition so the next we will discuss about the semiotic tradition the semiotic traditions is the study of science this form a uh, important traditions throughout the communication theory. The basic concept unifying in these traditions is the sign or symbol. A second basic concept, which is usually designed by a complex signs and with many meanings, including highly personal ones, and the semiotic is usually divided into three parts. Semiot semiotics or the study of signs and symbols are the basic elements pragmatics or the study of the relationship among signs and the synthetics or the way sign and are combined into a complex system of signs semiotic itself is the study of verbal and nonverbal signs that can be stand for something else and how the, the interpretations about the sign and symbol and the impact into the society. The semiotic traditions include a host of theories about the use of signs and symbol to represent objects, ideas, states, situations, feelings, and the conditions outside of the sign. The semiotic tradition has had a considerable impact on the communication theory because many communication theories are interested in how science and the science system are used as a tools to accomplish things in the world. Analysis Semiotika John Fix dalam video clip Blackpink Do 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 by Kartika Pusparini and Nuru Fauzia. In this studies, they examine the music video Do 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 by Blackpink and this research aims to determine the reality level, representative and ideology of Blackpink music videos Do 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 by using the semiotic, the semiotic analysis and approaches specifically by John Fix. Therefore, in this research, 
the semiotic is the semiotic traditions used to find the behind meaning or the other meaning that included in the music video and what message that they want to communicate to the public itself semiotic analysis specifically by Roland Barthes the result of the study shows that there are denotative meaning connotative meanings and also the myth behind the Sanmore logo that this logo itself is giving up or giving uh, giving away a meaning itself behind the logo there um, they have the denotative meaning shown by the zigzag line the circle and the different size in the logo and also for the they have the connotative meanings of the form of eliminating imp impressions the existences that needed by any uh, them by, by many people and also a myth behind the sunmore logo which is value of the pers the prestige of the logo which ends in line with their image with the logo sunmore believe that prestige is an integrated part of the concept of traveling.